Take Beat Break Radio on the go. You can download the app to listen to the show on your iPhone. Go mobile with, with Beat Break Radio today. Download the Beat Break 87 FM app on your Android smartphone and other mobile devices right now. Find it on Google Play, the App Store, Blackberry World, BlackVibes.com, and iTunes under Home Team Radio. Beat Break 87 FM, Atlanta's new underground station. Beat Break Radio <laughs> FM, Atlanta's new underground station. Yeah. Online 24-7 at BeatBreakRadioFM.com. Time to get ghetto. All right. Time to get ghetto. in the house. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Before we go any further, D, yes. let me just say that Ghetto Mafia is the reason why I am glad to be an ATLian. All right. Because okay. some people some people don't right. believe me that I'm from Atlanta. Okay. I've been born and raised here when Yasin's was on Old National Highway. <laughs> okay. I was here when <laughs> Club 559. All right. Was on and popping. Okay. You know, before it was just abandoned, it was on and popping. I was here when Arnell Starr from the Planet Rock oh, and yeah. American Music Makers, oh, yeah. he was the reason why I got into radio and TV. All wow. right. Yes. Okay. Wow. All right. That's yes. what's up. And I'm so glad to, to, to be sitting next to one of the members of one Ghetto of Mafia. Legends. Thanks to Wicked. I'm in here. What's yeah. Up? All right. right. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Welcome to the D Hill Radio that Show. Like the whole crowd. We- <laughs> <laughs> we have the, the whole Omni. Huh? We live. Yeah, that's Omni not Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's right. going on, Wicked? All right, man. I'm cooling, man. I'm glad to be here, man. We're trying to get Nino online one, man. Can we hear Nino? Yeah, Nino. Nino, where you yeah, at? Nino's stuck in traffic, man. He said, man, you don't have to call in. T. Okay, that's cool. He'll probably... Uh, as long as we hear that voice. As long as we hear that voice. That Atlanta do, traffic do we, got, do we got else. Nino online one? You know, no, no, you the phone ain't ringing. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, so what's going on? Y'all got to get him the crowd too. Now y'all got, y'all, y'all got to get him the same crowd. Wait, wait, wait. We, we, we gonna do it like this. We gonna do it like this. <laughs> Don't worry, we got you. We would, we would find a Nino. <laughs> Nino, what's good? What's poppin', man? Tony Terry down here, man. We working on another classic. Tell Tony Terry I said, what's going on? Tell him I said, what's going on? We all said, hey. Yeah, yeah, so, you know. Yeah, man. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get into it. So for those who don't know what trap music is, Uh please explain to us what is trap music. You know, what is trap music, man? How did that thing get started? Trap music is is, is a a group of individuals that, 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 Sell drugs out of trap house in the, in the neighborhood. Uh-huh. Okay. That yeah. speaks so, about it. Speaks about it on on, mm-hmm. on, on on wax. You know what I'm saying? That's that's trap rappers, real trap like me, you know, and we. You that's know right. what I'm saying? Right. We real trap rappers because we actually, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I, know, I might go, I might go to jail after this, but <laughs> <laughs> we really did that. You know what I'm saying? Me and Nino, we, we really did that. We, you know, we started off from 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 a little nothing, and we really did it. And that's why you know, we trying to, okay. you know, let them know that we for real about it. Okay. Right. And you all, just to put that out there, you all are the original founders of trap music. That's right. Yeah. Just putting it out there for everybody to know. Uh, hey, I always, I always tell everybody, you know what I'm saying, that's listening. Um, if you heard somebody say it for me, check me. Uh, 1993, 1993, 94, I think, uh, uh, Life of a Sniper. Started young, yep. slinging rocks mm-hmm. in the trap. You know what I'm saying? The first thing Gangsta Nino and Wick, you know, we yep. kicked. You know, right. um, mm. lot, you know, a lot of fools didn't even know what we were talking about, you know? Uh, mm-hmm. Like I say, we're not the first rappers that, that have made music. Mm-hmm. From the trap, you know, okay. there was always different slangs for the word trap. Uh, you had a lot of guys out in Memphis. I, I, I see, I see a lot of people uh, uh, on the internet, and uh, you know, they they'll say, well, you know, UGK started trap music, or or mm-hmm. or, 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 or Scarface started trap music. No, they had different slang. I'm talking when we're talking about the word trap, or we just okay. talking about the type of music. If we're talking about the type of music, then uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. But I'm talking about the word trap. They weren't using that. They were using okay. the track, okay. the spot, okay. the hood. And, also, and we, I also think that when you when, when you talk about trap music, they feel like we ain't supposed to get the credit because we was independent. Yeah. And, okay. Uh, that's what it and, is. Yeah, I think right. that's what the whole thing is about. Like, it, it, it's not like we didn't incorporate it because it, it was we were small. Right. Okay. okay. So, 
So I think that's the issue about that trap music. He think you know because he whoever said the word, if you if you're one of the major cat, you shouldn't get the respect for for really saying that word first. And I think that's the that's the issue about that. You know yeah. what I, mean? I think if he wasn't a major corporation, we said it, then we could have hold the belt for it. Okay. But since we since we were with a, with a small label, we didn't have the right to say, hey, we started trap music. And I think that's that's the issue. Okay. Right. You know what I mean? I can agree I with that. I could be wrong, but that's what I think. You know I, what I, 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 I can agree with that. I mean, the 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 bottom line to me is I don't give a fuck what label. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. We got we, <laughs> We're oh, AM. Oh, we're AM. Yeah. Okay, yeah. my bad. We're, yeah, this ain't yeah. sound like radio. Right. I, don't, I, don't, I don't care. I don't, let me refrain from that. I'm sorry, kids. Um, I, I, I agree, I agree, I with, I agree, I agree okay. with Nino. I agree with Nino, but uh, that still don't make it right in my mm-hmm. eyes. Um, yeah. You know, um, I don't care what company it was. I don't just, okay. you know, basically what he's saying is if you went with the face records of So So Dev uh, from this city, then they saying mm-hmm. you don't have the right to it. And I, you know, mm-hmm. I don't, I, you know, I can't ride with that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, and I don't care nothing about it. You know, to be honest with you, uh, what's mine is theirs is theirs. You know. Okay. And I don't care who or what label, where it was, when, who, well, or how. You know, Nino mm-hmm. and Wick started it, and uh, that, that's just the bottom line to it. Even though we were a smaller company, we sold like a major act. So, right, I mean, it's right. a lot of companies mm-hmm. that, it was a lot of guys that, that was with, with independent companies. I mean, E-40, uh, I'm the West Coast. Uh, a lot of people had independent deals that was only yeah. only distributed by a major. Okay. Um, but they were still spending their own money. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, does that stop them from getting credit for what they did? Nah, yeah. and and I get and Nino right. That's that's I guess that's how Atlanta has become. If it didn't come from LaFace Records, it didn't come from So So Def or one mm-hmm. of their feelings, they feel like it ain't nothing. Really? Okay. But see, but see, when you when you sell ten thousand in, in your city, right? Ain't no how they could discredit you for that. You know right. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Can't say that you didn't hear that. Can't right. Say that. I didn't hear this song. I didn't hear them say trap. Started a young singing trap. You know, singing, singing. You know what I mean? They right. So. So uh, yeah, like you say, it's good. we gotta dispute that, even right. though we were independent. Even exactly. We were independent. Exactly. You know what I mean, because I was reading in some magazines that you know the magazine always acknowledged you all for uh, uh, discovering trap music, so people Correct. got to respect that. Correct. I mean, you got when you have when you have Billboard and and Vibe magazine and and the list goes on mm-hmm. and on. You know, um, uh, giving us credit for it. I mean, who 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 is a certain rapper? Uh, to say that uh, you know I'm not the king, uh, you know. Uh, yeah. Like I said, man, you got guys here. <clears throat> um, they'll, they, you know, they're cool with. They, they, you know, they know that they didn't start here in Atlanta, and they'll, they, they'll chalk that up. It's the, it's the, it's the outside uh, uh, um, fans that they, yeah. you know, that they're trying to fool. Most Atlanta people know, you know, unless they, you know, let's say migrated here. Mm-hmm. Most Atlanta people know Nino and Wick started this. But, oh, it's, yeah. you know, it's when you're getting out the States that, you know, you have the fooling folks out in Cali and mm-hmm. fooling folks, uh, you know, up, 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 up north and, and the markets that we in, that that that, that we went as big in. Mm-hmm. Um, if this guy, Tip, would have said, and I'm going to call his name Tip, if this guy would have said, when they shoved the mic in his face, mm-hmm. if he would have said, well, you know what? You know, Nino and Wick started, they, they, they were the first person I heard saying trap. Okay. Uh, and 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 they were the guys I grew up on, but I took it from them and I took it further. Okay. It'd be a dead issue. Right. Oh, we, okay. The issue we, would be dead. Okay, he's talking about the documentary that was featured on VH1. I'm gonna wait to get a little bit later on to get uh to the juicy stuff. Yeah, let's so, get to yeah. it. Okay. Well, I mean, you know, so I'm ready to dive right in. You know, right. I'm on the I'm on the high dive right now. <laughs> I, you, y'all heard me let one go. Well, so, I mean. well, let me ask you this before we go any further. Now, um, you and Nino, you all spoke candidly about um, the the lack of mentioning of Ghetto Mafia. Correct. And I, I've seen some of the recent radio interviews, including with T.I., in which he said that, you know, you had crunk music. Correct. And you had dungeon, organized, fa- organized noise. noise, dungeon mm-hmm. family. Correct. and. You didn't have trap music until I came right. in, into the. So, so I wanted to ask you, like, you all said, you all gave your side of the story. Have you and Tip, have you all and Tip connected or communicated I, after that? I, we haven't communicated after that. I mean, mm-hmm. in my opinion, and 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 I may be wrong. I haven't spoken to him directly. Mm-hmm. I have spoken to Jason, uh, Jeter. I right. have spoken okay. to Clay, um, yeah. and. 
So I haven't spoken directly to Tip, and it wasn't well, just it wasn't just the article, the, or the interview when they stuffed the mic in his face, and he mm-hmm. said that what you're referring to. Right. I had a problem with him because I reached out for them after Bill Boyd wrote wrote up articles about Nino and Wick. Mm-hmm. After Vibe was uh, writing up the articles and saying, well, you know, him and Pharrell took the song, and that's blah, blah, where blah. The, that's where I wanted to hold off on the documentary because I want to talk about. Pharrell stealing y'all song. Correct, correct. Oh, well, this we'll... is documented. Wow. See, okay. people want to people want to bring it. You know, you have a lot of haters out there and naysayers out there and act like I rolled over out of bed and I came up with all this. Yeah, I, yeah. I tell people like this all the time. If if, if if Tip ain't on top, if it was about mm-hmm. me just trying to get some pub for an album mm-hmm. or anything that we got going on, then I'd be at the future of one of them. Okay, you know, somebody that's relevant. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? Tip is in the same boat I'm in. So okay. he just got the reality show. Yeah. You know, he try, he's trying to do records with Young Thug and all them to stay relevant. Uh-huh. So it's not like we're going after a guy that's on top. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, I got I'm you. I'm going after a guy that's, that, 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 that slighted me mm-hmm. on a major uh, 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 production. Okay. And did it purposely. Because okay. I had people that was there on that said, I, I don't know when we're going to go into it, but I'm ready to get into okay, it. Okay, well, let's but go I had, then. I had, we don't talk I had, about I had people call me from the V1 <laughs> set, other <laughs> artists, and say that uh, they were asking, well, where's Ghetto Mafia? How are we doing a, a, a VH1 special about the rise of Atlanta in rap and Ghetto Mafia is not here? Thank you. We missed the whole – they skipped from – from from Raheem the Dream to 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 um all the booty shit. What, what's what's wow. the other guy named um Kilo Ali? Kilo Ali, not Kilo, but the other um the guy from Decatur, my my boy, and I, I can see his face and then my mind is blank right. MC Shadi, Shadi, okay. what's up, man? No slight to you, but uh you skip from Shadi Raheem to you to Ti. Are you serious? I'm like, what 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 happened with the whole '90s when Nino and Wick carried this city? When we was the only show in town. Man, wow. most most clicks here in Atlanta right now have somebody they either toted bags for Nino and Wick or turned the lights on or opened the <laughs> curtains for us. Most of them. Wow. And that and that and 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 I and you know we was here like you said you was mm-hmm. here on Five Five Nine. Nino and Wick was here when Chris Lover Love and Poon Dad was on and they was calling us to do that that. That lame show they was doing mm-hmm. every single week. To wow. come down now. <laughs> oh, you know, shots fired. You know, we showed a lot of support for those guys. Man. It, it, yeah. it, we did, we did. You know, and you, and, yeah. and and we did that. We did a show two or three different times. Right. You know, when they were we down there asking me, you know, stuff about Big Boy and 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 and, and different things. They was down there spinning their own records and you know and all this all kind of mess. But um. came sitting in one of our sessions, but you remember we exactly. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, just listen to what we listen to us record. Exactly. You know what I'm so, I mean, I, mean, mm. I guess everything was was playing what he's gonna do, man. You know, like I said, mm-hmm. I understand, man. man we, you know, Nick feels kind of salty for for being left out, but you mm-hmm. know what I mean. Like I said, we gotta do our own documentary. I, exactly. I mean, y'all yeah, got and to. that's what, and y'all that's what, to. and that's what, uh, and I'm glad he brought that up because that's exactly where I'm going. Um, uh, I'm just bringing. Um, my thing is this right here. Um. I'm going I'm going mm. bust I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bust whoever at you know if you stick a mic in somebody's face I'm on demand and let me say this right here <clears throat> Nino and Wick so that mm-hmm. you still understand we two different grown men it's like Pimp C and Bun okay. B right. right what Pimp C felt and was passionate about mm-hmm. Bun B did okay you understand what I'm saying Pimp C didn't mess with a lot of rappers mm-hmm. Bun did okay you understand what I'm saying so what what, what Nino view my on, on on something is his view and and he might not be as passionate as I am. About okay. It. You understand what I'm saying? So when I yeah. speak, I only speak for me. Okay. You understand for wicked. Okay. Um, I care about it. You know. Yeah, um, you should. You know, yeah, and, you and, should. And, and 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 I care deeply about it because when I, you know, I, I feel like you just slap me. Mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. kicking all this gangster stuff, and I let you come in my house and just take from me, mm-hmm. and 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 don't give me credit for nothing. What kind of gangster am I really? Yeah. You know, that's how I feel. Yeah. Some people may feel differently about it. Like, well, you mm-hmm. know, it's past. I'm done with it. You know okay. what I'm saying? So I don't, I don't, I don't, uh, um, you know, frown upon anybody's view about it, even the fans. Mm-hmm. Some fans just don't care. Some okay. fans do care. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So it's just, it's, it's my fight. It's my battle. It's how I feel about it. When I'm dead and gone, 
You know, I, I want my son to be able to mm-hmm. hold his head high and say, you know, my daddy started that right there around his friends. Let I, me. I'll go yeah, ahead. Yeah, before I go over to D, once again, folks, for those who are just tuning in to the D Hill radio show, we have the legendary OGs, Ghetto Mafia. We got one half okay. of Ghetto Mafia in the studio with uh-huh. us, and Nino is on the phone lines with us. And I, going back to the documentary, okay. because there were some other artists from the ATL, East Side, West Side, that were not mentioned in the documentary Correct. as well. And, but when I saw the documentary a couple of times, one of the first few people that came to my mind, of course, was Ghetto Mafia. And I was like, why wasn't Ghetto Mafia mentioned? And I even went to the soapbox. I went on Facebook and named some of the people that were not mentioned. And, of course, it was Ghetto Mafia. And I'm like, do these, do these people know that Ghetto Mafia, they had one, they had like several hits right. here in Atlanta right. and they and they and you all were on BET's Rap City Top Ten Countdown. Right, right. Uh MTV as well. Yeah. And 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 my and 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 that's my point too right there. Um I mean it's not like a a, a group that, you know, d- didn't make it to every avenue. We made it to every single avenue. We broke mm-hmm. doors down. It was only Nino Wicked. Eight ball, Lim J G, Pimp and Bun. We mm-hmm. crowded in them little bit of eight passenger vans. Mm-hmm. We went to each of the all these states and kicked doors down. You understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Right. Out there eating Vienna sausages and crackers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so that when the rappers came behind us, you know that that, that it was a lot easier for yeah. them. So I feel like it's just a slap in the face Mm -hmm. that when you go get a major situation on the type of music that we started Mm -hmm. and you can't, you can't say, you know, shout out to Nino and Wick. I never asked, I never asked uh, for no money from none of these guys. I never asked them to be on my records. I never, hell, I never asked them to come out Mm -hmm. to, to, to any of my shows, anything. I never asked anything from what I asked for is respect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not monetary stuff, respect. Mm -hmm. I can get my own money. Mm Mm-hmm. I can no, see no, this no. being like a straight out of Compton situation because there was some mixed feelings about it. Why wasn't mm-hmm. this mentioned in straight out of Compton? Why wasn't this? Why wasn't yeah. that? And then that's why I feel like there's going to be other versions of straight out of Compton coming out to where some some of the people that were not mentioned in straight out of Compton will get their own opportunity right. for them to uh, tell their story, tell their side of the story. So it's the same thing with Ghetto Mafia right. coming out with their own documentary mm-hmm. on how they changed the rap game with trap music. Correct, correct. And and like I say, this was a major, this mm-hmm. was a major production. This was VH1. Mm-hmm. And they play this thing back to back to back to back to back. So that just further... Uh, you know, puts us behind the eight ball uh, when it comes to our brand, mm-hmm. when it comes to money, mm-hmm. and when it comes to respect. Mm-hmm. And respect is the biggest thing to me. When I go around and I hear people talking about, well, you know, uh, Tips did this, or Jeezy did this, or Gucci did this, or this guy did this, and don't say nothing about Nino and Wick. You know, I'm sorry. I I I be ready guns blazing, man. I be ready. To, <laughs> I'm, I be ready to go out. You know what I'm saying? That's that's just what, how I feel about it. Um, yeah. Because uh, because we cut too many corners for this mm-hmm. city to be uh, to be disrespected, man. Yeah. You know, we sat out there on, uh, and, and, and clogs and in them in them traps, man. At that 7-Eleven, yeah. man, they closed 7-Eleven down because of you know what? <laughs> 7-Eleven went out so of business. So you all were responsible. We were oh, right. for putting 7-Eleven <laughs> out of business. You know, and, uh, and 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 like I say, you know, we we cut all these corners, man, mm-hmm. up through the Midwest, up through Michigan and Ohio, and and took that thing mm-hmm. out to Cali and. And uh, and 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 I just refuse to be disrespected that way. So like I said, I'm on a mission with that. Okay. I also, we also have new music out. Like I said, Nino is doing a solo album right now. Uh, yeah. He's in the studio. He's supposed to be dropping it uh, January. I'm kind of falling back. I already have one done, okay. uh, but not to clutter the whole thing. Uh, right. I'm gonna sit back and let him do his thing for a minute. Cause I already dropped two albums. You know, the Hood okay. Show, uh, one and two. You know, what I'm saying it did well. Um, so this is his first project. You know, Nino from the islands. So it's a, it's a um, you know, it's going to be a different mm-hmm. flavor. It's not ghetto mafia, but it, but it's Nino. You know, okay. and uh, and I'm looking forward to. it. I'm excited about it. Uh, you know, I back him on the project, so I'm excited to hear what uh, what the gangster got. Gangster, what you got over there, man? Oh man, I got some good stuff, man. Y'all can hear me? Oh yeah, yeah. we yeah. hear you. Yeah, man, I got a I got a crazy album coming out. I got a lot of features on there. Of course, I got Gangster Wick on there. Mm-hmm. I got Sean J at a film. Uh, I got legendary Tony Terry who's in the studio right now doing an awesome track with me. And I got a lot of other features. I got a lot of up and coming uh, artists that's going to be on there. Mm. Uh, I got Slice Nine on there. You know, you know what I'm saying? The legendary DJ Funky Son. 
You know what I'm saying? He's there, you know. Tell, t- tell Tony Terry he's going to have to sing a little note for D Hill for, for Oh, yes, yeah, definitely. Oh, Please do. <laughs> oh, have mercy. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, man, uh, this album is terrific, man. Uh, I'm, uh, hopefully, I get out a, 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 a single out at the end of the year. If not, that may be uh, beginning of next year. I'm dropping this album. But I want to take my time and do it right. And make sure you bring about the D Hill radio show. I will do. Yeah, oh, but we got a new one out now, uh, uh, Elephant in the Room, that we're getting ready to, uh, that we, we kind of out working right now, and uh, after Nino uh, dropped this album right here, we're going to full-fledged drop a Ghetto Mafia, and we just had to put okay. something out right now, because, I mean, the fans, you know, coming at us, Nino, work, why y'all ain't dropping that? It's almost like we have a cult following. All right. It don't matter, we don't lay it off 20 years, and, and, and it's like we're still as popular mm-hmm. as ever. People still want to yeah. hit the real because the style that we came with, yeah. nobody else was doing. The one twos, one two. I hear rappers doing it now. All of them are doing it. You know what I'm saying? They don't even know where they got it yeah. from. Yeah, and we when we come back, we're gonna play your song. Uh, when we come back, we got to talk about these rappers today. Yeah, we gotta talk we about. Got, and, I, and, I, and I'm not gonna, and I'm not gonna drop. And I'm not gonna drop any more f bombs. <laughs> I gotta. I got, yeah, you, we can we turn, can be ghetto, but not me, too ghetto. Let me turn <laughs> on. Let me turn on the clean version All of right, it. Okay. The clean version of the dirty week. I'm gonna play on clean. <laughs> I'm gonna let you introduce your song. Uh, this right here is called uh, Elephant in the Room, Nino and Wicked, Get on Mafia. All right. All right. <laughs> All right, we are back. Man, that yeah. was Elephant in yeah. the Room from Get yeah. Mafia. Right. Yeah. I love yeah. that. All right. I love that. That's what I want to hear going to work every day. All right. Uh, no, nah, I want to hear that when I'm in the booty club. <laughs> <laughs> Twerk. 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 <laughs> There's an elephant in the room, <laughs> a big elephant. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay, going back to that VH1 documentary. Okay. They they contacted uh T.I. Amosomi. Uh, what 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 they did is they uh, t- uh as you know Tip has a deal with VH1 okay. for his reality show. Okay. So they gave the uh they 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 gave the project to Jason Jeter and Shaka Zulu. Okay. Shaka is Ludacris manager right. for people yeah. that don't know. Okay. And he's always hated me. Okay, but, uh, all right. It's just one of those all things right. where he ain't said it. Mm-hmm. He's not slap his face. <laughs> but, but, but you just, but you know he don't. Yeah. And um, and so uh, from what I got from the whole thing, and I, like I said, I wasn't in the room, mm-hmm. but I have people that were. Okay. Uh, VH1 mm-hmm. stepped to them too and gave them the uh the rights to do the documentary with Tip and Luda being able to sign off on it when mm-hmm. it was done. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it was supposed to be one more guy, but I ain't even gonna say his name. Okay, that, that was involved in it too. He's just <laughs> nobody to me. But um, like I said, and and really what they were trying to do was, if you wasn't with LaFace, so so deaf or affiliated with them mm-hmm. in some kind of way, whether it was organized noise, whether mm-hmm. it was a it was a a a, a, a subsidiary of them, then you were left out. Okay, that's pretty much how it went. Mm. Um, they just didn't want to give props to nobody unless, like I said, that you was affiliated with. Well, the tip used to be signed to LaFace Records. A lot of people don't know that. They yeah, Arista, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and then made the comeback with my boy Bone. Bone was hiding him, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but <clears throat> uh, they stepped to these guys um, and gave them the rights to do the documentary Jason, as they see fit. And mind you, both of these guys are from New York City. Now, I have no problem with New York City because I have a lot of great friends in New York City. Mm -hmm. Um, But my thing is, how do you do a documentary about Atlanta and leave it in the hands of somebody from a whole nother city, a thousand miles away? Mm-hmm. That's, that's what I'm that's, talking that's like, about. That's like asking mm-hmm. why is there two radio stations in Atlanta and most of them are on their personalities from New York or from California. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I'm just, and, and, I'm just yeah, saying. And, and, you're saying and, and that's correct. <laughs> that's correct. How are you going to tell a story for me and you weren't there? Mm-hmm. You don't got ran out your own city. They won't let you tell a story in your own city, but you can mm-hmm. come to my city and tell the story. Mm-hmm. But my thing is, okay, they gave these uh, young men the okay to do the documentary. Correct. If I was the overseer of VH1, first thing I'm gonna do is look up who started Trout Music well, and go from there. That's what I'm gonna do. To be it, honest. It, 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 exactly. But see, now I talked to, and I'll show y'all this off the air. I ain't gonna, okay. you know, just show you right here. But you know, I uh, big on. Um, I hate to say other people's names about mm-hmm. the battle. Uh, they when they hit me privately about it, but I'm sure Oomp don't care. Uh, because he said, uh, and I quote, 
I have it right here in writing, that they called the producers of the show because they got left out too. And that's wow. another big thing. How oh, can you no leave yeah. out Oomp Camp Records, the oh, hit no. man Sammy uh -oh. Sam? You know, how I, I was there when you couldn't even get on the stage with the hit man Sammy Sam and free it. See, the hitman Sammy Sam was the best freestyle I have ever seen down here. Sammy Sam would embarrass you on stage. And anybody that anybody from the city knows mm -hmm. that. Um, but anyway, intoxicated the whole the whole camp, the whole movement. But anyway, they called the producer for the show and they told Oom um, that it was it was on Jason, it was on Shaka, and got real nasty with him. And from from what uh I got from Oom um Camp, DJ Calvin, what's going on, man? Um it, they, they had words, and and the wow. producers pretty much hung up on them. That's you know, like they had know. words said, "We don't <laughs> care who you are." Um, if if Shaka and 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 um, and Jason Jeter don't 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 endorse it, then it's nothing to us. Oh, uh, so okay, so in retrospect, if you had to give the documentary a grade, what would you give it? Because I give it an A. I, I, give, I give it an A only because before. Uh, the rap here in Atlanta before uh -huh. VH1 put that out there, there was the art of rap. I give it a yep. G for garbage. That's wow, what I, that's what I, that's what no, I give it. But what I said, but what I'm saying is, is that VH1 put out the art of rap, which was narrated by Ice T. Okay, and in the art of rap, it skipped over the whole South rap movement, it was just only focusing on New York, the West Coast, and Midwest. Okay, and, and so that's and a I slight. you're right. That's a slight. So, so that's why I gotta give the for for a BH one for at least putting it out there to shed some light. But but on, but, but let me say this. Sure. Let me say this. Uh, and and I and I'm a part of the South movement. So if they, they left the yes, South out, I feel a little disrespected too. But mm -hmm. you got an hour, and you got you know so much rap. You got East Coast, West Coast, South, and okay, I can see you leaving something out. This documentary was only strictly Atlanta. There ain't that many groups. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. It's not. The documentary wasn't the rise of the South, and now you got to get in UGKs. Now you got to get in 8-Ball. Now you got to mm -hmm. get in. This was just Atlanta, Georgia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you got a whole hour just to talk about a little city. You want to talk about Augusta? You want to talk about Macon? You want to, you're talking about just Atlanta. Mm -hmm. So how can you leave me out? Yeah, I mean, I do. When agree. the only show in town was Ghetto Mock yeah. and, and Cast. Right. And Goody, what, um, uh, Timo, hey, um, I want to say what's up to uh, the Gip and the boys, man. I, I miss with, I miss with the three. You know, CeeLo, whatever. Shots <laughs> um, <laughs> fired. Uh, you know, I'm calling them all out, man. Whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, boys don't deserve that. You know what I mean? Timo, them, they don't deserve that. Uh, but. Um, my thing is only concentrating on Atlanta, bro. So I feel mm -hmm. what you're saying. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody can't be included, but okay. when you're only dealing with Atlanta, Georgia, and you leave me out when I ran, when I told it this city on my back for 10 years, not one album, mm -hmm. not two albums, not three, four charted albums. Mm -hmm. And not only that, we were the first, and no disrespect to Cass, but Cass didn't build a brand on their own. Mm -hmm. Cash signed direct. There were no names Monday mm -hmm. and Tuesday. They signed a major deal. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They didn't drop albums. They didn't. Show, all these guys now don't even need major labels. You know where they get that from? They get that from Nino and Wick. We showed them how to get out here and 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 and, and slang that work and get your own money and press these CDs yourself and put them out here in the streets yeah. and have labels come to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We that, that's what we brought to the game. That ain't what Dungeon Family and and all these guys brought to the game. What mm -hmm. they brought to the game was 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 American Idol type of thing. Mm -hmm. I go perform for you. You like it? You gave me a deal. I'm on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So D, you know yeah. what we got to do? We got to bring Nino and Wicked back. Well, we got on, to. On, we we want to bring them on your show on the Beat Break Morning Show and then have you come all on all the shows. I'm gonna yeah, stay he here. Be all, on all. I'm, so, gonna, I'm gonna make a pallet right okay. now. Just, <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm sleep we here. definitely got to have you back. Our time is up because I definitely want to hear how. What do you think about these new rappers they got out now? Oh, I can go on and, and on. I want to talk about that. I know you all doing a documentary. Correct. We definitely gonna support it. Correct. So we want to have you back. I need you to support this record, Miss Hill. That's what I need you to do. I I, when I walk out of here, can I get a copy? 
I already, your you man got a copy right, right there okay. saying no excuses now. All right, you know what I'm saying? I'm ready. I mess with who mess with me now, you know? <laughs> All right, um, I'm ready. But yeah, man, it's so much that I can get into. Like you say, it's, mm-hmm. it's, just, it's just not enough time. I can sit here all night, and I'm sure y'all could, and uh, oh, yeah. and we could no, talk about it. I'm but um, yeah, man, I'm I'm hyped too. And uh, like I say, I'm I'm slapping them all in the face when I see them. Okay. You know, and that's just how I feel about it. I don't care. So we we definitely want to get you back, you know, and talk about that documentary that's in the works and how we can help, you know. Definitely push that thing. Good. All right, so Sean, what you got going on? Uh, at Beat Break Radio, Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram. Once again, folks, we will be at the ATS Hottest Entertainment Awards tomorrow evening, 6 p.m., 444 Theater in Atlanta, GA. All the information at radiofm.com. If you miss any of the highlights of the Be Hill Radio Show, check us out on beatbreakradiofm.com. Uh, hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> hey, 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 yo, real quick. Follow um, Ghetto Mafia, the real Ghetto Mafia on Instagram. Rod Ghetto Mafia Bar on Facebook, uh, Twitter, and, and all of them are the same. The real Ghetto Mafia. All right, the D here radio show here on the 6 a.m. The D here. The Wizard of Oz, no Beat Break Radio, FM, FM. Atlanta's new underground station, online 24-7 at BeatBreakRadioFM.com.